What is up YouTube? We're on Ultra Flex today for a leg workout. Come off the back of a mad weekend with me brother fighting, got that dub, and now we're in here to get the fucking dub. So we're sitting four weeks out from setting on stage for the first time, and this is a Shredder Stage series. See, fucking machine stacked, high volume. So what we're doing is making sure, oh, <laughs> making sure that intensity still there when you are like stacking the machine like this. By no way is it like mad heavy weight, but it's um, obviously you can't increase intensity with weight. Slowing that movement down. Pause when you have full extension. In nice and hard. Squeeze at the top and increase that intensity through other ways than just weight. About to move into some glute work downstairs. Before I go down, because I feel like I have a bit of a difficult time connection with the glutes on the um, on the squats that we're going to be doing, sumo squats. I'm just going to jump on here, abduct the machine. This targets some glutes very well, I feel the connection with it. And just that, getting that mind muscle connection before I move on to a heavier movement. Very light, just do a few reps, feel the glutes engage, and then I'll move downstairs and start working. necessarily a heavy high weight movement as you can see it's a 20 side but definitely something to take note of when you're not connecting with exercise you want to fucking leave your ego at the door you don't be piling on weight here when I'm not connecting the way I want to otherwise I never will I'll just be bringing every other muscle to take the load that I want to force my glutes to take so I'm leaving it where I'm not going to complete failure here um, just so I can really feel them glutes working and they're definitely more than last week. Oh. 
I was through this. I from fucking the I sat, I was like, oh, I don't know why. This is a sick cunt. I'll be fucking drinking through a straw for this set. With a set layer, but uh, as you can see, I took the fucking stop out so I can get deeper. Now, rookie mistake, AirPods have got no charging today, so I'm having to deal with this deep house weird fucking shite. So, you see, it's set starting before the set starts, I'm trying to zone in, getting in with this, nothing else around is happening. And just get angry with it, especially when you got your music because it's fucking too much distraction. Yep. <laughs> Next one, for the leg press. I think I'll start by saying whether you want to commit to a bulk or a cut, the, the key word's commit. So there's too many people who jump in now, they feel too skinny so they're going to bulk, and then eight, 10 weeks later they feel too fast, they're going to cut, they haven't actually gained any muscle, then you cut back and then you're losing muscle because you're now in a deficit. And it's just, it's a fucking vicious cycle. So what I'd say is first commit, choose what you want. Um, a cut is going to be less of a commitment than a bulk time period if you're bulking. You want to give yourself a good 20 plus weeks on a bulk, I would say a minimum, a good five months um, of muscle gaining, especially if you're night. So commit to it. If you're feeling too fluffy, I would run it in eight, eight to 12 week stages. So basically bulk for eight weeks. Give yourself like a, a diet break. So sometimes when people's cutting, they get a diet break. Give yourself a bulk diet break as well. Cut back for a week, freshen it up, make yourself feel that hunger again, and then go back into it. Cause too many people, they'll slop off and start eating pizzas, fucking cookies, all the rest of that shite. Cause they want to get the calories in and the bored of the healthy food. So they're going from a nice clean bulk to a dirty bulk, get too much fat in. So if you feel like you're borderline starting to want to eat shit, cut back, go a bit, like just a week of nice clean eating, cutting all your, cutting all your um, calories back, and it'll sort of give you that metabolic break to go, right, I want to eat again, and then you'll get back into it good. I mean, I've been waiting five minutes, something like that, and the lads don't like finishing any time soon, which is fair enough to everyone's gym. But I don't want to wait around too long, just let my legs go cold. I'm in the moment, I want to keep that, that blood in there. Once the blood's out, it's hard work getting it back in. So I just want to get on with the set. There's more leg presses in the gym. Yes, it's not optimal in terms of that's my plan, but it's more optimal to jump on a machine that's available rather than cooling down and I'm going to get everything going again. So we'll jump in this one. Fucking right. Had it in the fridge, had in the fridge at work, and uh, nearly forgot it, but I set an alarm on my phone as I was walking out the office, it went off, and I was like, yes, can't forget the rat recovery shake. Oh. Let's see what this one's like. Bit off, 
more than that, aren't you? Oh, six to ten reps, not fucking one. Especially when you weren't on a weight that you haven't done, or a machine you haven't done in a good while, to find that between like, when am I ready to go in for my top set? Like, that there, what I've done before, was fucking far too heavy. Near, near one rep max on this at. But now I've dropped off, and I'm gonna go in. I'm treating this as my top set, I'm going for it no matter what. So I don't want that sort of energy output being lost in too many warm ups and too many feeders. So, aim is six to 10. If I get five, if I get 12, I don't care, I'm going for it. Flying, this is flying, this is flying, this is flying. Fucking moving this, come on. Oh! 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 One, two, Oh, fucking danger at that. <laughs> but sometimes when you put yourself in that danger zone where you think like this rep has got a chance that'll go up if I haven't got my everything in it, it just bring, brings it all out in you because it's like lifting that car off the kid in a mad way. Like, you know, you've got to get the fucking car off it so you put everything in. I wouldn't recommend doing it often you can hurt yourself, but I felt it today. There's nothing else that fucking exists in this whole world. Not a worry, not a stress, not a person, not anything. That's why you didn't have any phones. It's just you, that weight, you're pushing it and it brings you to a place of just when people see living in the past is depression, living in the future is anxiety, and you're living in the moment. And that's where you find it. That's the fucking moment.
finish that with a rest pause set. I've got a short and rest pause set. If you want to watch it, check out the 30 seconds to understand playlist on my channel. Go through various different chain techniques, diet and stuff like that. 30 seconds short on rest pause set. How to get the best out of your set. I'm going to train a partner, push a pass failure. Give it a watch. Also an athlete, boxer, um, he's competing at the weekend in Newcastle for the for the belt against an Argentinian lad came over, tried to smoke him, got fucking smoked. But uh, yeah, being around fight week, I'm part of the team, doing all that sort of activities, we in press conference, all adrenaline pumping, obviously being there for the fight and fight night as well. And you've just got to change account that like when people say I'm too busy, I've got this, I've got that, I've got the other. Fucking not like you're just not. Your priorities need to be in order. My priorities were in order that week. I was able to get in, train optimally, nutrition on point, prepped for it, knew everything that was coming, got all sorted. Yes, it was tiring, yes, it was hard, yes, it was fucking draining in the mindset as well. My brother's fighting, you know. It's like it's like I had a fight without actually laying my hands on someone. But, uh, still got everything job done. And here on Monday, legs, and we're still going. Fifteen out, I don't know why. Seven and eight, and then you turn. Feels fucking weird, so I just do sixteen, sixteen. Coach has thirty. Thirty two. keep it in there but I see too many people flying out the bottom bouncing out you're not going to be activating your car fully you're going to be relying a lot on the tendons to bounce it like a spring motion stop doing it pause at the bottom let that sort of spring motion just stop and then press down with your calf to move that way again you get so much more out of it what was the part of the dinosaurs like? <laughs> I mean, dinosaurs, right? So, I'm a nerd, right? So I was watching this fucking documentary about um, pterosaurs and that, right? The views are plummeting right now, I can tell, but... Yeah, it was the uh, biggest pterosaur ever. They used to use the tendons in the wing to propel themselves off, otherwise they couldn't go off the floor. They used to dig in, come back, 
and then when that was fully uh, long it would be like a spring ready to go and it would fire them forward same with calves when you're down at the bottom that tendon's fully stretched if you're bouncing out of it you just watch and bounce all day there absolutely nothing 50 60 reps easy don't fucking do it it's a waste of time Again, as I always say, train like you're trying to gain, even when you're cutting. It's the best way to keep muscle, keep pushing to try and progressively overload into the failure range all the time. Now, if you are liking the content, please drop a subscribe, toss a like, comment anything you want to know below. Personal life, coaching, prep, training, anything you want to know at all. I'll get back to it, all included in the next video. But yeah, I'm loving the sport so far, and it's starting to get really fucking exciting now. We are four weeks to getting under them likes. Stick with us.